For most of us, we love our kids unconditionally. Most parents will tell you that they would do anything for the kids, right? And yet, <laughs> those kids have the impressive capacity to drive us crazy. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! They can drive us mad. Sometimes that can lead up to us losing our nerves and we may even hit them, right? Well, some brand new research came out regarding spanking kids and how it affects brain development. So what is exactly spanking? If you look it up on Wikipedia, it will say a common form of corporal punishment, blah, 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 with the palm of the hand striking the buttocks of a person. Oh, I've been spanked, <laughs> and not only to the buttocks. My brother has been spanked, even more than me, actually. My mother still speaks about that time she ended up with a bleeding nose because of her father. Yeah, there was no buttocks involved in that one. I mean, it used to be a common educational practice to spank a naughty kid. What's a big deal, right? Adults who have been spanked dismiss it and diminish its importance. <laughs> now, I'm a father myself. My kids aren't... Uh, what's the word for it? Well, they are no poster kids. You know, all smiles and well-behaved. They have spirit. They are strong-willed and have the special ability to drive us mad, my wife and I. Especially when they were toddlers. It was a madhouse. I don't want this! Ow. They just didn't want to obey. And at one point, well, physical punishment became an option. And I tried it a couple of times. I can tell you, in all honesty, it hurt me more than it did hurt them. And I'm not talking about my hand. I'm talking about my heart. As a dad, I was torn. I felt like a total failure. After a couple of times, I decided I would never use physical punishment again against one of my kids. And that was before I knew about the actual effects of physical punishment. Well, first of all, physical punishment as a way to influence behavior isn't very effective. You get immediate compliance, that you do. But on the longer term, behavior will pretty much remain the same. What you will get, though, is the kid becoming afraid of the person who gives the punishment. Daddy! And that's still in the short term. It is now widely established that children whose families use corporal punishment are more likely to develop anxiety, depression, behavioral problems and other mental health issues as they grow up. Aggression and antisocial behavior are direct consequences of corporal punishment. There was this large-scale meta-analysis study back in 2002 by Elizabeth Thompson Gershoff from Columbia University. It looked back at 62 years of data and left little doubt over the consequences of corporal punishment. Well, the other thing she found is that spanking easily escalates. You know, it starts with the one hit on the buttock, the next time it's two, three, and before you know it, it's downright child abuse. Now, of course, it's not because you spanked your kid once or twice as I did, that it will turn into a juvenile delinquent or a suicidal teenager. You can't put me in there! I hate child Mary, don't put me in there alone! I hate being alone! That's not how it works, of course. As always with the brain, it has everything to do with frequency and intensity. The more often something happens and more intense the experience, the more it will impact a person and create neural pathways in the brain. And that brings us to the new research from Harvard that just came out. So we know about the psychological consequences of spanking, but this is the first time researchers looked at the consequences on a neurobiological level. What they found was that the brain of children who were spanked had developed the same neural pathways as children who had experienced more severe forms of violence. There was basically no difference. Well, this is the first time we're objectively measuring the impact of spanking from the child's perspective how they've experienced it. Ah, fresh meat. And what their brain is saying is very clear. When you spank me, to me, it's physical abuse. Now I know we as adults, some of us might not see it that way, but look at it from their perspective. In their eyes, we are these huge giants, almighty creatures, almost godlike, you know? And when this godlike creature hits you, I mean, it's just not fair. Come on, pick someone your own size, will you? What did you say? So if this is so traumatic, why have we been doing this for generations? Well, as I said, it does create immediate compliance, so it creates the illusion of being effective. 
And as an adult, we remember those times we were spanked. So again, it reinforces the illusion of effectiveness. And Jung spoke about this as well, you know. This is a case of projection where we take on the role of our parents and repeat the same patterns all over again, generation after generation after generation. That's what we know. That's how we do it. Well, not always. You see, we are now some eight years later, and in my house, it never happened again. It took a huge amount of patience and love to find ways to raise those kids differently. They still have spirit. They are still strong-willed. But that's actually the part I love most about them. They do obey me, but it's not out of fear. We have these long discussions where I explain them why I ask them to do things in a certain way. I ask for their trust and they give it to me. Sometimes they do get punished when they don't follow the rules at home and they accept the consequences. Well, they don't like it, but they understand. Look, it's not the easy road. It takes time, it takes patience. At times, it was really disheartening. But now looking back, I wish I knew what I know now when I first tried the spanking option. I just didn't know better. Parenting is hard, it really is. And no one really prepares you for what is probably the most important role you will ever have in your life. Have you been spanked when you were a kid? Comment below. Hey, make sure to check out our course Neuroscience for Parents. And if you want real stuff, you go to brainacademy.com. You join our 350,000 students and start using your brain better. Brain out. Sharpen your mind.